Hey, how's it going, you lot? Let's unzoom a little bit. What a lovely Sunday morning it is. It's, it's, I tell you what, it's a brilliant day today. A little bit windy, but that's all right. I'm just messing around with this um, FTX Bugster here. Um, this is the kids' one. Well, I bought it for me and the kids, really, a couple of years ago now. Um, well, uh, I think it, was, it wasn't a couple of years ago. It was probably beginning of um, 2022, so last year. Um, yeah, the trouble was it, it burnt out, I think. Um, I'm actually filming right now uh, a video um, for the RC channel where I'm going to diagnose it and, and um, try and repair it. If not, find out what parts I need and um, see if I can get them. Um, so I'm just waiting for some batteries to charge. And while they're, I'm waiting for them to charge, I thought I'd talk to you lot. Yeah, why not? So, a um, bit of RC action going on here as well. Still cleaning out this one. This one is, uh, well, I'm going to slowly work on it, clean it out. My aim for this one is, um, see, it's going to be difficult. All my plans have been scarpered um, by, um, well, it's just... You know, everything's costing 10 or more times as much as it used to. And uh, the trouble is at the moment, all the plans I wanted to do, and I was struggling, man. Um, but we'll get there, not a problem. It just take a bit longer. But a lot of the time, my problem is I don't want to pay the money or people are asking for things. Um, you know, so if, if if things are made in England and um, the quality is, is really good, then I'm happy to pay the dollar. But it's, when you get things that come from China or another country and the quality is crap, you know, um, but they're still asking the top dollar for it. I'm like, listen, man, I ain't paying that. Hopefully, we ain't gonna have to do too much of this. Um, please focus. Thank you. Uh, the, what happened was when we were zipping around um, in the middle of the summer, it was quite a hot day. A bit of smoke puffed out, and um, when I got to it, I thought it was coming from the motor, but it could have been coming from the ESC. And if it was coming from the ESC, then we're gonna have a bit of an issue um, because they're expensive to buy new ones. I'm so motors really, to be honest with you, but they're cheaper than an ESC. But I don't really know what it is. So while I'm waiting for the batteries to charge up, I'm just sort of um, you know looking around, but. I can't really do a lot until I can get some power into it and uh, try and work out what the problem is with it. Um, <clears throat> but it'll be, it'll be quickly apparent whether it's the ESC, if it just won't work, won't turn on, or if it's the motor, in which case it'll probably work. Just crap, you know, really slow and uh, not have any guts in it. But that's all right. Slow progress and we'll get there, you know. And I might find some wheels for that one later on. Been having a sort out, right? Been having a sort out indoors. Um, decorating the kids rooms and that and sorting out our bedroom and all that kind of stuff and I found my old drifting gloves um, Jap speed <laughs> blimey <coughs> you know I found these uh, in the cupboard amongst the hats and gloves and stuff you know it's like everyone's got hat and glove cupboard and they surely um, they haven't got a hell of a lot of use on them because I didn't really do a hell of a lot of drifting the, the whole plan kind of got you know stopped in its tracks you know um at one point we had a bmw e36 me and two friends and the idea was we were going to strip it right out get it ready and take it drifting we stripped it right out in this very garage and then we hired a unit and when we started our business um you know just an ordinary car garage doing services and whatnot so then it was in the back of the unit and um, we're doing bits on it as and when we can with the plan to go drifting however um, when the whole lot collapsed, um, the, them other two friends fell out, and then me and the two last friends, you know, um, it was difficult because my wife didn't want me to have a business away from, she didn't want me to do any of that, um, so she kept saying, why do you have to go to go out to work, um, go to work and then go out to do more work, I said, well, we, we, if it's successful, we'll become, you know, a lot of money and it'll be alright, we'll have a nice life, she didn't like it, so I gave that up, sold my half of that business, and also sold him my um third well it become half after them two fell out of the drift car so he had the drift car on his own and i didn't really get to do i didn't get to drive it didn't get to drift it the only bit of drifting i did was in an old um s14 um small bit of drifting in an s14 um so these gloves never really got used i bought them well you don't really need gloves to drift here but um you know what it's like branded jap speed gloves and uh, oh, you've got to have them, haven't you? But my point is, I'm going to repurpose these and get my money's worth out of them and have them as my RC gloves. They're very comfortable. You can hold onto the transmitter and feel the um, brake and uh, acceleration. You can feel the steering and everything perfectly fine because they're thin. So these are going to be my RC gloves. Chap speed. <laughs> Chap speed RC gloves. Love it, man. Love it. 
So there you go. A little bit of a um, pointless, absolutely really pointless story for you, but there you go. So what I think I might do, if it turns out that this is um, this has had it for a while, I'm not going to be able to, uh, I can't afford, I spent far too much this month, can't afford to do um, any more, uh, buy any more bits of it, I might take the wheels off of this, and I reckon they'll fit on here. I reckon they will fit on here, um, with any luck. If they fit on here, then that's alright, and then uh, at least the missus can have a little blast around on her little truggy, and... Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll go from there. We'll see what we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll wait for the batteries to charge and uh, yeah, see what happens. Love it. God, the, the anticipation is like <whistles> nice, man. Well, I got that battery on charge because it was getting a bit low, and uh, that's the battery that I use for my CB radio. So, it's charging up for now. But there's been a small development, you lot. Um, I ended up taking the wheels off of the Bugster because the Bugster, the motor's completely burnt out. Um, I don't know where it's gone, but there's some part of the brushes and that was falling out the motor. So uh, the, the Bugster's dead for now. So I took the wheels off of it and put them on this uh, Tomahawk. And uh, it's looking pretty good. If you want to see the full video of it, go and have a look at the RC channel, Haggard RC. And then there's a, a, a thought that, you know, everything's on there, uh, all what happened. But I basically ended up just putting them wheels on there. Because um, I went through a whole rigmarole of trying to find wheels and everything for it and going on about the hexes and all of that. But they're just a standard 12mm hex. Um, <clears throat> you know I me, mean? I like to overcomplicate things just for the fun of it. So. I'm probably going to end up getting a set of them wheels for it and just leaving it like that. So this is my wife's nitro car now. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is going to be her one. And, you know, kind of, I kind of like it. And uh, if I get a buyer for it and if somebody wants to buy it, then, uh, you know, they're welcome to buy it. Everything's for sale. I'll just get her another one. Um, but um, I don't think, to be honest, I don't think that she's probably not going to want to come and uh, do it too often but uh, I'm just trying my best trying to bit my best to make a you know I want it to get out and about and do things with us instead of always being indoors you know so this is the hobby that I like and my kids like so and this is what we're going to be doing so I think this will be a nice little nice little truggy for her proper uh, proper happy with how it turned out it looks really nice yeah really really good Right, oh, you look. I can't remember. Uh, I, I was going to say something to you, um, but I can't remember what it was. So it will come. It will come to light at some, some point. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next one. You look all the best and uh, enjoy your week.